Sounds like there are some birds fighting. Don't they know I'm trying to film an English lesson? Let me try some French here. Macaroon. That's probably horrible. I'm sorry. In today's English lesson, you are going to learn how to talk about food in English. But all of these foods are special because all of them begin with the letter M. A couple weeks ago, I did the same type of lesson, but in that lesson, we talked about food that started with G. I asked AI or artificial intelligence to pick a random letter for me, and they picked M. And then I asked you on social media, what was your favorite food that began with the letter M? The first food that starts with M is actually a type of fruit, and that is a mango. Mahmoud from Mauritania, couple M words there, said he liked mangoes the best. Now be careful, when you say mangoes, it gets an ES at the end. Don't ask me why. But mangoes are a tropical fruit with a soft inside. Tropical. I've talked about this before. When you talk about something tropical, think someplace that is hot. They probably have a lot of palm trees in tropical places. Some countries that produce a lot of mangoes are China, Indonesia, Pakistan, Mexico, but guess which country produces the most mangoes? Yep, it is India. The next food I wanna teach you that starts with M in English is mac and cheese. Sometimes you will hear this called macaroni and cheese, and it's a pretty simple dish. You need some pasta and you need some melted cheese. Do you know who likes mac and cheese? That would be Tanya. She lives in Germany. And for the type of pasta you use in mac and cheese, that's up to you. Some of my favorite pastas to use are elbow macaroni, penne pasta, and bow tie pasta. Please, if you are enjoying this English lesson, hit that subscribe button. Maybe throw a like on this video. It really helps the channel grow. Tanya also said she liked chocolate mousse. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait, chocolate? That starts with a C. The way Tanya wrote it was the French way, and it starts with an M that way. Maybe not exactly a food that starts with M in English, but it's so delicious, I'll give it a pass. I will let it go. A chocolate mousse is a creamy dessert made with chocolate, sugar, and whipped cream. We also have an animal in English called a moose, they are famous where I live, but it is spelled in a different way. Whipped is a word I just used. I could do an entire English lesson on the word whipped, but here I used it as an adjective describing cream. To make whipped cream, you have to whip milk, put air in that milk, make it bigger, and then you can top your chocolate mousse with whipped cream. We are now heading into the snowy woods where I am sure there are some maple trees, which is perfect for our next M food. Mode has the next food that starts with M and he likes maple syrup. Maple syrup is a sweet liquid made from the sap of maple trees. It is often poured over pancakes. Sap might be a new word for you. It comes from maple trees. It's a liquid. It's pretty sticky and it is boiled down to make maple syrup. Do you know that phrasal verb, boiled down? Well, think of boiling water. It's really hot. There are bubbles in it. And that sap is boiled for a long time. A lot of the liquid will evaporate and what is left is something very sweet and we call that maple syrup. Filippo is up next with his favorite M food and his favorite 
are meatballs. Filippo is from Italy, so I guess it makes sense that he likes meatballs. Those things pair well with spaghetti. And to pair something with something else means two things go really well together, like spaghetti and meatballs. Some people think wine and cheese pair really nicely. Let's talk about what meatballs are. Meatballs are small balls of ground meat, often mixed with spices and sometimes cooked in sauce. Now I said ground meat. You might use a meat grinder to ground meat. It's when you take a piece of meat and make it really small. Not a filet, those are different. In the picture, you will see chicken fillets. The next food is marshmallows, and Etienne Beaumont loves marshmallows. Let's talk about what marshmallows are in English. A marshmallow is a soft, white sweet made from sugar and gelatin. Hmm, gelatin. That might be a new word for you. I often forget this, but gelatin is actually made from animal products. If you are a vegetarian, you probably can't have gelatin. We have a famous dessert here in the United States. You might have it in your own country, but it is jello. Jello is made with gelatin. It's a solid that's almost like a liquid. When you shake it, it jiggles. Marshmallows are also fluffy. I love to sleep with fluffy pillows at night. You might also hear the adjective puffy to describe marshmallows. The next M food I would like to talk about are mashed potatoes. Libby says she loves mashed potatoes. Hopefully you know what a potato is in English, if not, there's a picture for you. Those potatoes are boiling. They are becoming softer. To make mashed potatoes, you might take out a masher. That's a type of kitchen utensil. And mash is a verb. It means to push down on and make smaller. You want to remove all of the lumps from your mashed potatoes. You want them to be smooth. Take a look at that picture. There are smooth potatoes right there. And on the other side, there are lumpy mashed potatoes. Who knows? Some people actually like lumps in their mashed potatoes. Do you make your bed in the morning? Every morning when you get up, do you make your bed look neater? Most people think when a bed is made, the blankets should be smooth. There should be no lumps in your blankets if you have made your bed. Sounds like there are some birds fighting. Can you hear them? It's a little distracting. Don't they know I'm trying to film an English lesson? I don't know about you, but I always think mashed potatoes taste better with salt and butter, maybe some sour cream. The next M food in English I would like to talk about actually comes from the French. We say macaroons. Let me try some French here. Maybe in French, it's more like macaroon. That's probably horrible, I'm sorry. But macaroons are small sweet cookies made with sugar, egg whites, and coconuts or almonds. Let's talk about what an egg white is and what an egg yolk is. Think of an egg, the white part is called an egg white. The yellow part in English, we say yolk. And Lady Melody says that she likes macaroons. Sita from Brazil says she likes mint, chocolate chip, ice cream. My favorite food in the world is probably pizza. And my second favorite is probably popcorn. Two words that start with P. Maybe that should be the next letter we use when talking about food. Let me know in the comments. What letter do you want to see next? But I think my third favorite food is ice cream. Yeah, I like all of the unhealthy foods. But mint chocolate chip is not one of my favorites. I find mint to be a very polarizing flavor when it comes to ice cream. Polarizing. I hope I can teach you a new English word. If something is polarizing, it means a lot of people hate it, but also a lot of people love it. There aren't many people in the middle that think, eh, 
it's okay. I think mint chocolate chip ice cream reminds me a little bit too much of toothpaste. I don't mind chocolate chips in my ice cream, but I do love chocolate ice cream. Who can forget M&Ms? That definitely starts with M. It almost starts with M twice. And Natalia from Chile loves M&Ms. M&Ms are small round candies with a chocolate center and a colorful hard shell. They are supposed to melt in your mouth, not in your hands. Now you can find shells on a beach, but when we talk about a candy shell, that is more like a, a turtle shell. It is to protect the candy. If you would like bonus English lessons and to participate in the members chats, you can become a channel member. There is a link in the description. It costs a little bit of money each month, but you get a lot of bonus English with your membership. If you're still looking for more English, right up there, I did another English lesson with G Foods. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.